Hi, uh, my name's Nate, and I'm a senior at Scott Catholic. I like your work! <laughs> and this is Greed of an Ego. As the practice of addressing people based on race, class, and nationality comes nearer in the rear view mirror of my sheltered Midwestern mind that would probably still mutter, Ope, on the first Martian colony, I find it fitting to consider myself destined by privilege to be a rich white guy, bank account and cultural ignorance sky high. I want to doubt this and hope this doesn't encapsulate my adult life. You know, the part of my life that is my choice. But what if it does, I asked, and my mind soared, or rather tumbled through a terrifyingly turbulent tailwind. Would I live my college career building years obsessing over financial models, whatever those happen to be? I'd be getting higher education while frantically staying away from the crowd experiencing higher education. <laughs> I'd be getting buyer education. Properties, commodities, portfolio. Oh my god, what if you go bankrupt? Go manic in search of Ben? Dream of the monetary fortune made off, made off with? Go from 18 to 25 sticking to the eens. Caffeine, ticker screen, nicotine. It's sounding like such a drag. With fiat money in my eyes and B.I.G. in my ears, success further drags me into a mire, ironically only describable by a hip-hop lyric. More money, more problems. I don't want this or need this. I want to ascend the rat race for richness. I'd much prefer the palace of poetry over a crammed cubicle. While the torch I'm handed is burning holes in other people's pockets, I want the torch I hand my children to illuminate words on pages, and stories and wisdom from the sages of simpler, happier, earlier ages, before life in the merciless mercantile style became the norm. The greatest adventure I've found in life is making your ancestral identity label an identity libel. An adventure is all I'm here for. <laughs>